Hello everyone, my name is Michael Graham and I'm here to bring to you some basic repair videos for the Nano CPX. To start out, what we're going to do is replace the spindle. So after you've been flying your Nano CPX for a while, you've probably banged it up a little bit and your spindle's probably bent. So of course, you need to replace this. To start out, what we're going to do is just get a regular, regular screwdriver and of course, we're going to take off the main blades. Now once you've removed, removed the main blades, what you want to do is carefully remove the links connecting the grips and the swash plate. Now, once the links have been removed, you want to use the included spindle tool in order to actually loosen the spindle in the head. So you take the spindle tool on both sides you might need to twist a few times to make sure that it actually engages the spindle and the nut. And then you simply unscrew it. And the head will simply separate. Now, what you want to do is pull, pull the grip off. And then there is a O-ring, or I'm sorry, a washer. You want to remove that and you want to slide the spindle out, making sure to not lose the O-ring on the other side. Now also, if necessary, this is a good time to replace the dampeners in the head. If, if you've been flying your Nano CPX for a while and you need to replace your dampeners, this is a great opportunity. Um, what I like to do is I like to actually use the end of the spindle and use that to kind of pry out the dampeners. It makes things a little bit easier, especially if you have big hands such as myself. So once you have the dampeners out, you simply remove them and replace them with new ones. So I'm going to reinstall this dampener here. And now, to replace the spindle, simply push the spindle out of the grip, set it aside, grab a new one, and you want to slide it back in the grip the same way as you removed it. Use the spindle tool on the side of the spindle, and you want to make sure that you have the washers installed. Now, make sure that the step on the washer is towards the outside of the grip. So the flat side of the washer goes towards the main shaft. All right, so now that you have the spindle and the washer in place, you want to take the head and simply slide the assembly back through. You might accidentally push out the dampeners. There's no problem. Just simply push it back in. I just want to give you an image here of what things look like. And then you want to use Take your washer and you want to slide the washer on the other side. So now that we have our washer on, what we're going to do is that we're going to take the second grip and slide it over the spindle. And then we're going to take our spindle tool and the nut and install the nut onto the spindle. Now you want to tighten the spindle nut just tight enough to where there's no in and out play. Like for example, this, this is not good. This is not good. You want to tighten it such that there is no in and out play on the grips. And the grips can still move freely. So as you can see here, there's no in and out play and the grips can still move freely. Now, out of the box, the Nano CPX has a little dab of glue on the end of the nut. When you replace the spindle, you need to replace this glue as well. I recommend that you use a glue that's easily removable, such as white glue or rubber cement. 
and it is not recommended to use thread, thread locker on this spindle assembly. Once you've replaced the spindle, all you need to do now is put the helicopter back together. So I'm going to take my links and simply pop them back on the helicopter. Move this around so I can get a better look at it. I have big hands, so I'm going to use some needle nose pliers here. All right, now that we have the links on, I'm going to attach the blades. Now, when you're attaching blades on the Nano, you need to use the same technique as you would use on the MCPX. Make sure that the blades are loose. You do not want them tight on a helicopter this size. All right, and that concludes the spindle replacement.